Ready? Walk. You guys ready for your walk? Can I put your leash on without you attacking it? I'm sorry, it takes time. Start making dinner for daddy, okay? I'm in my kitchen to make Vietnamese crepes. See, it's bubbling. I'm on a diet. You're on a diet? What do you have to lose? These fats. I, whatever, I love you, little pancita. Gonna be hanging out with my husband here in his office and bugging him. He's got a lot of work, there's a lot of projects going on. Your office is a mess. Right. right now we're driving to the 626 area. If you guys haven't been there, I like to call it Asian Mecca of Southern California. Okay, so here's like the funny story on how we met. He stalked me on Facebook. I just liked your picture. We were going to two different schools. We shared a mutual friend that was my lab partner and he started stalking my Facebook page after that. I remember at the time my profile picture, I had changed it to me wearing my dorky lab goggles. He made me so mad because he was making fun of me. So you look like you're going snorkeling. He's like, are you going snorkeling? I was like, dude, they're my lab goggles. That's just kind of how our little competitive banter like back and forth went on. When I was back home for the summer, my lab partner was like, hey, you want to come hang out? So that's actually how I ended up meeting my husband. That was when I was first officially introduced to Boba and I was kind of like, what the hell is this? But then I really like it. I have a really soft spot for bubble teas because, you know, they take me back to when I first started dating my husband. But not only that, we actually used to own a bubble tea store, like a frozen yogurt slash boba place. Yep. Fun times, huh? A lot of work done. I'm so stuffed. Stuff. Stuff. Yes. Yeah, his yeah, tummy's really happy. When we come here, we just anticipate that we're gonna leave five pounds heavier because we eat so much. But the funny thing is your parents are probably gonna try to feed us some more. That's just what Asian parents do. They just wanna feed their kids. And then we're going to probably go get dessert afterwards. So, day of food. I'm not complaining. This Latin girl ain't complaining. I love food, obviously. Latinas, once you hear your song on the radio, you're like, woo! This thing is so hot, but it's so good. And I'm gonna be super caffeinated, ready for the night. You know what that means. I really do miss the food in this area. Yeah, that's why we come here once a month at least. I mean, not visit. only visit your parents, but to get food. Well, it's an excuse, right? <laughs> it's an excuse. It is, it is. Mi gente con su taco truck. My peeps with the taco truck. Fusion, honey, they have it in Chinese too. <laughs> Smart. Eat it? I love it. We've just been eating so much on this trip. I, I, I tend to sit up straight, you tend to slouch. Well, yeah, you got gigantic ass. <laughs> sure. I'm a wide load, I can't hold that I have to take it. If you're a Latina, you know, you know the hips and the... The hips don't lie. The hips don't lie, man, the hips don't lie. And it's like, the older you get, they just like expand exponentially. It's Bigger and juicier. Cállate, grosero. Eso no se dice. Grosero. Take yourself out, Latina. No, cállate. What? Los vemos para la próxima. Suerte.